What is it you want, Angelique? Your love. I love the relationship between uh, Angelique and Barnabas. It was very electric, kind of love-hate relationship. When he rejects her for Josette, she's not very happy. There's the monster! She locks me in a coffin for 200 years. You know, as we all do when we bit hurt. To hold a grudge for 200 years and to make his entire family pay. Yeah, she's the ultimate bad date. <laughs> We've all had kind of relationships like that, haven't we? So, some of us. Release me! Through the centuries, Angelique has become the most um, powerful businesswoman in colored sport. And then when Barnabas reemerges, it's kind of overwhelming for Angelique. She wants to own him, to possess every little bit. She's just convinced that he loves her as much as she loves him. But he won't admit it. The whore of Beelzebub. Succubus of Satan. Vulgar hideous serpent. Harlot of the devil. Snake. <sighs> no one talks like you anymore, Barnabas. No. There's quite an intense sexual whirlwind that we become involved in. You know, it required harnesses as it, you know, as, <laughs> I mean, as, as it happens. That was a regrettable turn of events. Everything is perfect about Angie. She's almost like she's wearing a mask, and you know, it's like perfect makeup, the red lips, blonde hair, very sophisticated, glamorous. And little by little, since the moment Barnabas has come out of the coffin, she starts to crack up. There's something very human about her. You know, her heart's been broken. She's, she's just a very damaged person. None of this would have happened if you just loved me. It was work, it, you know, it, it was extraordinary. The transition from profound, deep, deep, obsessive love to pain and then rage. The transitions were flawless. I cursed your family, my Barnabas. They kept us apart. They never understood. We're the same. Everything is magnified with her. Her pain, her desire, her vengeance. And she's completely cuckoo. You cannot love Angelique. Back. Is your curse. It's such an extreme character. She's not completely mad. Tiny bit. Missed me.